undereducated, below the poverty line, black or Latino, and previously incarcerated. What are the words that come to mind when you think of those things? Having a felony is no excuse. I know that I made a mistake, but that doesn't mean I come home and say, oh, I can't get a job because I have a felony. You come home and it's like, wow, what do I have to do? Some of the things that our guys need are so simple. If they want to get home from work or if they want to go home to see their families, they need to pay for a Metro card. If they don't have the money, they might jump a turnstile, they're breaking probation, they end up back in jail. All it takes is an organization like GoSo to really understand that and figure out the right programming to put into place to make sure the guys have the things that they need. We're building a community around a simple mission, which is to help our young men achieve personal and professional success so that not only do they not go back to jail, but that they're actually building a life that is built around financial independence. I do orientation every Monday and initially our clients are skeptical. We're offering all these resources and our clients have been given a lot of false promises and a lot of promises have been broken to them. But we show up every day and we make a commitment to them and all we ask is they commit to us. We have expanded our job readiness curriculum into a two week process. In these workshops what we're really giving them is a foundation for success. So that includes looking at the job holistically and saying is this something I want to be doing long term? You know, you have to love what you do and be committed to what you do because if you're not, then you're not going to succeed most of the time. I take care of a building. I work in a shelter for mentally challenged people. But my job has become more complex over time. They begin to see how much of a good work I am. They're training me to become a super now. It's not just a job readiness program. It's a community here. So in the last year, we've increased our number of employer partners from about 25 to now 50. So we were fortunate enough to um, partner up with GoSo about a year and a half ago. We feel that everybody can learn from the mistakes of their past. And as long as somebody is committed to being a very hard worker and delivering that warmth and that respect to guests and coworkers alike, then they're going to be a star employee for us. We have people contacting us from all service industries to want to be part of our programming and to offer anything they can. New York City is coming to us and offering us additional contracts, funding, and recognition because our outcomes are remarkable. The program model Cure Balance basically looks at gun violence and violence as a disease. And in order to actually stop a disease, we have to interrupt the transmission. So it's their job to actually go out into the community and root out gun violence. They go into the community, they interrupt violence, and that can be anything from gang mediations to individual mediations. And shootings are down in New York City. So we have to be doing something right. It's one of those moments you come in and you see their guys studying on the tables. You see them talking to their, their career managers. It's electric here. Without go, so I'll probably be lost and you're still hanging out with the wrong crowd. You know, when you're speaking with these young men, many times they will have a scowl on their face and they have damn good reason not to be happy. There may not be a bed of their own when they get home. There may not be food. There may not be any support at all. And when we're working with them and all of a sudden the light bulb goes on and you see that smile, there's nothing like it in this whole wide world. A lot of times it's, it's, it's easy to give up because prison is designed to make you feel like we're nothing. I used to feel like a nobody. Now I feel like I can actually make something out of myself after walking through these doors. Those two glass doors out there turn my life around once I walk through them. Everybody can, you know, change their life when they come coming through that door from Gold Soul. They make you feel like somebody, like you, like you matter. Like. A lot of people thought that when I came home, I would still be a menace to society. I'm not that anymore. They changed my whole outlook. They built a brand new person.